This Basics of Risk Management series is brought to you by Risk Garage. Risk Identification with Ishikawa Diagram, aka Fishbone Diagram An Ishikawa Diagram is a diagram that displays the probable causes that contribute to an event. It is primarily deployed in the manufacturing industry to perform root cause analysis of quality issues or defects. The diagram is named after Mr. Keiru Ishikawa, who pioneered the quality management process in the 1960s. The Ishikawa diagram is also known as fishbone diagram due to its pictorial presentation, which has the event as the fish head and the causes on the fish skeleton. The causes are usually grouped into categories. The default categories are 6M, which comprise manpower, machines, materials, measurement, mother nature, and method. The categories can be changed based on the requirements. The structure of fishbone diagram can be used for risk identification. This can be done by replacing the event and categories of causes with impact and risk categories respectively. What is needed in the risk identification session is a whiteboard or flip chart and sticky notes. The fishbone structure is first printed on the flip chart. Then the participants can use post-it notes to put the risks onto the diagram. Now, let's discuss the steps of risk identification. Step 1. Agree on the problem statements or impacts. The participants shall first identify the impacts of the project. The examples are cost increase by more than 10%. Project delay by more than 3 months and poor built quality. Then, each impact will be written on a fishbone diagram. Step 2. Decide the categories of risks. Next, the participants will need to brainstorm the categories of risks. The categories should be able to contain most of the risks identified. We can use the default categories, i.e. the 6M, but they may not be effective for risk categorization. The more appropriate categories could be based on the TCOP classes, which are made up of technical, economical or environmental, commercial, organizational, and political. Let's look at how our fishbone diagram looks like now. By the way, the team has the freedom to define their own risk categories. Step 3. Brainstorm the risks. All the risks identified can be put onto the different categories on the diagram. The five whys technique can be used to trigger more risk discussion. Before ending the risk session, the participant should have a look at the diagram. If the numbers of risks in certain categories are lean, the participants need to spend some time to exhaust the risks in these categories. The process will be repeated for different risk events or impacts. The main advantage of Ishikawa diagram is its simplicity. Everyone can quickly understand the process and start contributing to the discussion. The structured approach allows adjustment of the diagram for accommodating different types of risks. However, the simple method cannot prioritize and rank risks. The participants may put energy on the risks that have less impacts. Moreover, it will be more complicated if there are a few fishbone diagrams for different impacts. Nevertheless, it meets the requirement of identifying risks. I hope this video has provided you with basic knowledge in risk identification with fishbone diagram. If you have other good tips, please share it with me. Thank you, and see you again.